All right, so in this video, we're going to be compositing green screen in real time inside Unreal Engine 4 using the Elgato 4K uh, USB device and the composite plane in Unreal Engine 4. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm just going to create a new blank project next, and we're going to name this Elgato or Elgat and create. So this method is the same exact method as my previous video, which uses the composite plane. So let's go ahead and turn that on in the plugins. Built in composite plane. Yes. And then restart. All right. So we're going to close that. Let's go to the content. Now what we're going to do is add uh, an environment to this uh, project here. So go back to your launcher, go to library, and I have this meadow so, and I have this environment right here. I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the project, which should be Elgat. All right, guys. So here we are in the environment that we just loaded up. Go ahead and just check our settings here. Um, make sure. Okay, so that is cinematic. And I'm just moving around here. So what we're going to do in this project is instead of pre-recording green screen, we're actually going to key it live using a capture device like the Elgato 4K that I have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is, is I'm, I'm going to move this rock right here. I'm going to take it out, rotate it. We're just setting the scene here, guys. It's going to be real quick. And we'll just leave it like that so we can go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our plane. Because like I said, we're going to use the plugin for this. So drag and drop it to your scene, adjust it move it 90 degrees and then just go 1.78 here okay just like so just moving it around you can see it has shadows already i'm gonna push it oh where are you going dude i'm gonna push it back right here um i'm gonna try and put it right here in the edge okay let's do a rough estimate All right, so what we're going to do next is uh, go ahead and get our composite plane camera. So put camera, drag that to your scene. Go ahead and rotate it. Just like so. And just pretty much fill the screen for now. We're going to be moving this around a little bit more later. Just rotate. I'm going to rotate here. I like rotating here because it's so much smoother. And trying to rotate in the other way in the viewport. All right, let's turn that on just like that. I'm um, not going to worry about anything else, but it is a 35 mm Let's do a full frame because the camera we're going to be using is a full frame camera. Oh, there it is. Full frame DSLR. So we got a 35 mm full frame DSLR right there. So let's go ahead and start messing around with the projection here so let's create a new media we'll do a media player video output media texture as it i leave it as default all right all right so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug in my hdmi from the elgato to my camera and turn it on so give me one second okay so now i have the camera on and the way we will do this is just double click the media player Click in this little folder, video, cam link 4K, and there you go. All right, so just like that, you're going to see that your feed is actually in here. And this is live here. If you can see, I'm going to move it around here in a second. And as you can see, there actually I can actually turn on the uh, UI of the camera. So we'll leave that like that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually copy this URL here. So just control C. We're going to save and minimize because it is going to disappear here, similar to how the previous um, method disappeared in the media player. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go here in a projection. We're going to add one, and then we're going to do plane. There it is. We're going to make this masked. We're going to make this keyer. We're going to change this to the new media player texture, and there you go. There's Batman. Obviously, I didn't pick the key yet, so the color is kind of off, but um, we're going to fix that in a second. We're going to go to the cinematic view viewport. Okay. Where is that rock? 
Oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right, so here he is. I'm going to move it up so you can kind of see his head. Now let's go ahead and turn off those annoying um, UI. There you go. So now you see his Batman. Go back to the BP and let's go ahead and focus that because that's really bothering me. <laughs> Search details, focus, actually go to the camera and then focus. I'm going to do tracking for now so it's going to automatically track the plane right there. Okay. So that should be focused. And as you can see, it moved again. So move the plane. Okay. Now I'm going to do is actually just scale that. I'm going to lock it so the aspect ratio stays the same. I'm just going to go ahead and just scale that until we can see the entire image. You're going to see that that is kind of jacked up there at the top, but it's okay. Um, we're just fixing it so that you can see Batman entirely so just maybe increase it and just drag it drop and just drop it down a little bit okay so let's go ahead and see if we can pull the key and that's kind of cool because that's live there i can move it around right now and you're gonna see that it is actually live Okay, and as you can see there, I turned on a couple of lights, uh, pretty much the foreground and the background, so uh, I can pick up the key a little bit better. So let's go ahead and finesse that real quick. Let's go back to our cinema camera project. I'm going to change this to, oh, that's plain. We're going to do opaque for now, and what I'm going to do is choose an actual color right here. Color, color picker, click that, green, press OK, and then... What I'm going to do is go back to the camera, because by clicking that, you just selected the plane. Let's go ahead and change this to masks. And there you go. Batman is now, well, the belt is kind of catching some green, which is kind of terrible, but you kind of see the point. Let's go ahead and go get that plane. Go ahead and increase it a little bit more so you can see Batman. And what's cool is you can see his shadow. You see that? The shadow that it's casting on the rock, that is insane. That is really cool that it's doing that. By changing that to masked, it's actually casting shadows already. Now let's go to, let's change that to translucent. Okay, no shadow. Masked, you see the shadow. And then you go opaque, it's gonna bring you back. Translucent is okay. All right, and we didn't even do anything else in there as far as tweaking it. So if you want to tweak it, you can. All right, you can clip white, clip black. And right here is a chair, so that's where you're seeing that. Let's move it up. Okay. Okay, so after that, if I press play, again, it's not going to work. So what you need to do... First of all, connect it again, cam, cam link, save, minimize, and you'll see Batman again. We have to do create a blueprint, open blueprint. All right, you guys are probably, if you've seen my previous video, you know what we're doing. We're going to add a new variable. Just call that media. Right click, event, begin play. Okay, drag that media, get media. All right, and then we're going to change the variable type to media player object reference change variable type and it's going to search for any other ones no results found so that's good and then what we're going to do is compile there's going to be a drop down right here click your media player compile again and then what you're going to do is click this media drag it to an empty space and instead of doing open source you're going to do open url connect this right here and the target URL, you guessed it, it's going to be our media URL right here. So copy this again. And then go back to your level blueprint. Like that. Compile, save, minimize, press play, and there you go. There's Batman. Obviously it's 2D, but you can still get closer to him. 
like that or get f far from him. Now, this is pretty insane here. Look at this. Okay. Let's talk about the limitations. If we were to if we were to um let's go ahead and connect it again. It's kind of annoying, right? Cuz it's a bug. All right. So the limitations of this is if I were to drop this into a sequencer right now. Okay. And I'm going to create a new sequence. Change this to 24 frames. And my camera turned off. Hang on. Go ahead and wake that up. And then go ahead and go back. Should turn on. Okay, so if I was to go ahead and go ahead and add this into sequencer, add our camera here. And we're going to have this here. The problem is the capture, I think this is the problem. The capture right here is 60 frames per second. So if I try to export this to 24 frames per second, right? It's going to play super speed, okay? And I think my theory is it's because Unreal Engine 4 really likes image sequence here. So, uh, so 4.2.5, uh, as, as far as 4.25, I think that I am getting a mess of export because this thing is a live capture. So whenever, if I export from this sequence, it's going to play at double speed. So it's not going to look really good. So that's pretty much the only limitation with this right now, this workflow. So there's two things you can do to kind of get this recording here. The first thing is use a recorder software like what I'm using right now, an OBS. And what you're doing pretty much is playing like that and then just record using your OBS. Okay, you can screen capture this and you can move around and stuff like that. And you can capture it like that. It's not ideal, but it's kind of like a workaround okay additionally let me bring it back additionally if you have an external recorder like a black magic recorder or whatever whatnot you can also output from ue4 to an external recorder like a monitor that has an external recorder capability and you can record that way so this method right here will not work straight out of UE4, unfortunately, unless somebody out there can tell me how I can fix that. Uh, the problem is when recording and exporting video from this setup, just like this, without using an image sequence, the playback is super fast. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. This works really well, but to get it exported is a little bit harder at the moment with a 4.25 Unreal Engine 4.